What is going on guys? My name is Forge here on this channel, Mr. Supply Drops. Today, I have a video going over the new COD cycle. Now, we all know what the COD cycle is. You know, it's when we get a brand new Call of Duty game. It just got announced. You get all excited for it. You see the teasers and then eventually the trailers. You know, they first drop a campaign trailer, usually then a multiplayer one. If it's a game with zombies, then they'll drop a zombies trailer as well. And it's just a whole bunch of hype being built for months and months up until that game actually releases. Then it's amazing on launch, well, maybe not amazing, but it's a good game, even if it is a terrible game. Oh my god! Wow! You're still having a lot of fun with it, because at the end of the day, it still kind of feels like Call of Duty, no matter how bad it is. At least it has a, a tiny bit of that Call of Duty formula, right? So you're playing it, you're enjoying it, then about... I mean, it depends. It depends on the game. Of course it does. But, you know, then a couple, like, let's say a month, maybe two, maybe three. Hell, it could be six months. Maybe the game is actually not that bad. And it just, that's how it is, right? Uh, and then eventually, though, that wears off. That feeling dies down. You start hating the game, thinking it's the worst game ever, thinking it is the absolute thing that just should not exist in reality. And then you see the hype for the brand new game, and uh, the whole thing continues. That is the COD cycle that we currently know, and it's the cycle that I don't think will ever die as long as people keep buying Call of Duty games, uh, and that includes myself. You know, I'm 100% guilty of that. But point is, all right, we have a brand new COD cycle on the horizon. And I don't just mean on the horizon, I mean it is literally a part of the game. This is the very first game where they're going to start doing this new COD cycle that is on top of the current cycle that we already have. And that is the cycle of potentially, and now I don't know for a fact that this is how it is, but I don't know, it kind of seems like it is, taking core features from the current Call of Duty game, making it on purpose worse, and then adding it in in the next one, but with brand new maps and the same guns and everything, but just the same features that we should have had with the original one, but this time now you're gonna pay another $70. Sound familiar? Yeah, I'm talking about MW3 2023. Now this sounds amazing. This game sounds great, right? It sounds like what MW2 2022 and hell, even Modern Warfare 2019 should have been. Red dots on the mini-map, no loudest footsteps, we got Ninja as a perk, but no, all of these things were removed and they just sold them back to us later. And we gobble that shit up, bro. We are eating that up with MW3. Now, maybe the casual players don't really care for this. Maybe they don't even know what the fuck a red dot is on the minimap. Or they just think it's the thing that shows up when you pop a UAV. I don't know. But point is, for the hardcore demographic, that is what this is looking to be targeting. They are already going to be. This is already leaked. Now, of course, things could change. But based off of leaks, they are already going to be doing this as well with Black Ops Gulf War or whatever it's going to be called. I don't know. Let's just call it Black Ops 5 for this, all right? I know it's not technically the fifth Black Ops, but I'm still going to call it Black Ops 5 because there's no technically Black Ops 5. Anyways, right now, that's what we're going to call it. Call of Duty 2024 is going to be Treyarch's game. They're going to have whatever they're going to add into that game. They're going to have all that, you know, that game going on. Then, the year after, in 2025, it's pretty fitting for this, to be honest with you, they are going to remaster a bunch of Black Ops 2 maps, just like they're doing with MW2, the original MW2 right now, and then they are going to just drop it as a, another $70 game in 2025 instead of actually just making a brand new game, right? Now, that's fine in my opinion because that means that we won't have to go another year with an Infinity War game because Infinity War sucks ass nowadays, but at the same time, all right, this is something, like I said, it's a whole new cycle with this game. We went from having a brand new game every single year to now, by the looks of it, it is going to be a game where it is just an additional part of the game, basically a, a, an overpriced DLC. Now, I don't want to say the NW3 2023 is necessarily just that. I mean, it kind of is, of course. I see why people say that for sure. I agree that it's pretty much just MW2.5, uh, all of the things that they should have just put into MW2 2022. I agree with everything except for the maps, because I think 16 MW2 remastered maps that, uh, I mean, they were going to charge us for that no matter what. I don't know. I'm not saying that's a great thing. I think that that is uh, pretty iffy the way that they're doing it. At the same time, though, I don't care because MW2 2022 is just so bad. Now, maybe they did that on purpose, like I said. But here's the thing. 
That's what they're doing with Modern Warfare 3 2023. They're fixing all of the garbage that MW2 did. But for a Treyarch game, they usually don't do stupid shit like that. Even Cold War, in this Warzone era of Call of Duty games, they still had red dots on the minimap. It still felt like a Call of Duty game. It was still fast-paced. We didn't have safe space and multiplayer maps and stuff like that. Like, it wasn't a perfect game by any means, but it still at least had that arcadey Call of Duty feeling that we know and love for the most part, right? So is, does that mean that the next Treyarch game, they're gonna purposely do shit like this so that they can sell it later on? I mean, they gotta do something extra. They can't just make a new campaign, uh, multiplayer maps. Maybe, okay, maybe they could do zombie maps remastered as well, and maybe that's what the additional thing will be. Uh, but what are they gonna do for the multiplayer? Is it gonna be identical to Black Ops Gulf War or Black Ops 5 or whatever it is gonna be? That's not gonna sell very well compared to if it was considered this brand new second game from, well, I guess it would be by Sledge hammer that's probably who's gonna be working on it or whatever they're gonna have their name on it that's gonna be really weird having a black ops game with sledgehammer games slapped on the cover i mean i guess i guess they have worked on cold war and stuff like as an additional developer but as a main developer i don't know anyways though this is the brand new cycle is this gonna continue for years and years i guess it probably will because i almost guarantee you the idea of making a brand new game from scratch well it's never completely from scratch it's just how it is they always build off the previous one but it's still a lot less work to make all these maps, make a new campaign like they were gonna do anyways. A zombies DLC in this case, a zombies mode, not DLC, whatever. A zombies mode for Modern Warfare that is going to be on the Warzone map, so I highly doubt it'll be that great. Let's be completely real here. It's not like previous Call of Duty games where they actually have to build and develop zombie maps, you know, for that game mode specifically. No, it's gonna be on the Warzone map. It's already gonna exist. It's just reused assets that are stripped and shared between different modes that's gonna probably be I, I, it's just on one hand i really like this idea because it will give us technically technically not really but kind of a second year of a treyarch game right uh and we'll get black ops 2 maps and that sounds amazing and uh, they'll probably do zombie maps because of course that's how it will be and that'll be really awesome to see that's probably when we'll see transit remastered for real and <laughs> hopefully they actually fix that damn map within that remaster and they don't just copy paste it and just that's it into the new engine but anyways um point is the end of the day though i don't even know where i'm going with this anymore uh this is the new cod cycle though just be aware of it that i'm pretty sure this is where it's going from now on i'm not sure if sledgehammer will actually have their own game anymore from this point forward they may just be people who they make their own game technically, but it's just building off of the previous game that ju they just did, like Modern Warfare 3 is just a build off of Modern Warfare 2, but it's kind of crazy because this game, now, I don't know, maybe if this is just, Infinity Ward is just that incompetent as developers, as game designers, which is crazy to me. Please do not make any Call of Duty games anymore. Whoever designed Modern Warfare 2019 in terms of the gameplay, I'm not talking about the animations, I'm not talking about the gunplay, all that, all that felt good. It was very next gen at the time, right? It felt good in that sense. That's why people like that game a lot. But the gameplay itself, unless you sat in Shipment or Shoot House, was slow, garbage, campy gameplay. And nobody wants to play that except for trash cans who go 3 and 15 every game. And those three kills, because they're still new to the game, that just feels amazing to them. Every time they get that one kill, uh, it just feels great, man. It just feels like me when I was 9 years old and I took out a helicopter with an RPG in Black Ops 1 and I thought I was just some fucking amazing player. But in reality... I was not. And in reality, I was dog shit, and I had a point four KD. Anyways, though, at the end of the day, this is the new COD cycle, like I said, and just be looking out for it, and uh, yeah, what do you guys think about this, though? Do you like this direction that Call of Duty is heading in, or do you prefer how it's been for years and years, where we get a brand new, completely brand new Call of Duty game that is not being really built off the previous one every single year? What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, like would be greatly appreciated. If you're new here and you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.